Hi, I'm Ignacio Fernandez Fiorente, professional polo umpire. Welcome to Polo In. Throughout all these videos, we have seen a lot of mistakes made by polo player on the field. Though in this video, we'll see the most basic and common mistakes. Why? That's because these mistakes are easy to avoid. One has to avoid to hit the ball in the direction of another horse. With the rebounds, you never know where the ball will go. Here the grey player hits the ball in the direction of the light blue player. Here the black player hits the ball towards the opponent's horse. The yellow player slows down the play and ends up hitting the opponent's horse. The red player hits toward the other horses. The white player hits a backhand towards his opponent. The black player hits a backhand which bounces on the orange player. Sometimes it happens because of the skills of the opponent, but one has to be careful. Another common mistake is to hit the ball hard when you're close to the goal. Like in this case, the ball goes high and hits the opponent's horse. Plus, it is much more risky to miss the ball if you want to hit a hard and long shot. The ideal thing when you're close to the goal is to hit with short touches. Careful when hitting the ball hard. Here the yellow player hits the ball hard and achieves a low shot. Though normally if you hit the ball hard it is likely that it goes high in the air. The ideal thing when you're close to the goal is to hit with short touches. Watch out when you zigzag to go and hit the ball. You can commit a foul, like in this example. So this mistake is the one which provokes most discussions between teammates. When instead of hitting the ball hard in front for a long pass, players just hit short shots to keep the ball and play it themselves. When the ball is slow or at a stop, that's the moment to hit a full swing for a long pass. One needs to take advantage of that moment. Let's see here, this blue player with the ball almost stopped, it's a slow shot to keep playing with the ball. When the ball is almost stopped, it's a mistake to hit a small shot. Hit it hard and fast and run for it. Another mistake made by many players is to keep the mallet low. Not only you cannot hit a full swing, but you have to hit the ball more times and it is more difficult and you have more chances to miss the ball. Plus you give the opportunity to your opponents to hook your mallet while you try to hit the ball. So keep your mallet high. Here all his teammates are waiting for a long shot but he has his mallet down so he cannot hit a long shot and then he hits while he's marked and finally loses the ball. I don't know any player in the world who can hit a forward ball better near side than right hander. Let's see here the red player on mark hits near side. Mistake. What does he gain? Because you're complicating your game. Here the grey player and look at what happens, he ends up losing the ball. Look at the white player, alone in the middle of the field and he hits the ball near side. Here again, the light blue player hits a good shot near side. Another common mistake, like in this example, is trying to take away the ball accelerating to a player who has it and is almost at a stop. It almost never works.
and in this other case again there are two opponent again one black player and it's almost impossible to get the ball away from him hitting near side it is easier to be hooked and to go long when you hit near side it is easier to be hooked Here again, the white player has the ball, he's at a low speed, almost at a stop. The black player comes in strong and he goes long. One has to be careful. When you go long defending, it is very bad for your team because you leave an opponent player alone, unmarked with the ball. Here the white player is playing at slow speed and the black player is very fast. What if he goes long? Another basic mistake is while you defend close to your goal, hit a ball towards the middle of the field. Two white players try to go towards the goal, that's a mistake. You have to go towards the boards. Here the white player. Instead of hitting a backhand towards the boards, hits a backhand in the middle. That's a big mistake. You give the ball to your opponents. And here again, backhand in the middle. No, don't play that shot. Always give an angle to your backhand. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video.